Okay, so now I want to talk about how do you derive this, this formula for annual percent yield. So remember, annual percent yield is basically the rate of the re return that you will earn if you have uh, compounded your interest. Okay, so let me actually, let me write that down. Um, basically, APY equals your rate of return. So that would be the amount that you have at the end of a certain amount of time, okay, minus the amount that you start, divided by the amount that you started with. Okay, so by definition, this is what APY is. Now, A, the amount that you have at the end of a certain amount of time equals uh, P times 1 plus R over N to the N T. Now P, again, is your amount that you started with, and um, R over N, so this is your annual rate divided by the number of times that you are uh, compounding per year, and then N, number of times you're applying per year, times the number of uh, years that your interest, um, that, that you're waiting to see how much you have at the end, okay? Um, this formula, I talk a lot a lot more in detail in previous videos of this playlist, which I will provide in the description of this video. Okay, so now to calculate APY, basically all I need to do is plug in what I'm seeing here, here. Okay, and then, I, and then I'll arrive at the formula for APY. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll have P, 1 plus r over n to the n t power, okay, minus p divided by p. All right. I see in the numerator, I can basically factor out a p. So I'll have 1 plus r over n to the n t power minus 1, okay, and I still have my denominator is just p. Okay, and I notice I have a cancellation. I could cancel these two. All right, and I'm left with one plus r over n to the n t power minus one. This is APY. And this is, this is the formula that we had in the initial, um, in the beginning of this video. Okay, so we have shown this formula. All right. Um, now, to apply this formula, to um, the example that we had previously. Let me go ahead and pull that up. Um, so we discussed this example uh, a little bit in the, in the video directly previous to this uh, in the playlist. Um, so suppose I wanna use this formula to calculate my APY. So previously I calculated my APY basically just by calculating my, my um, rate of return, okay? Um, so now say I wanna use that formula, um, let me write it down right here, one plus uh, r over n raised to the um, n times t, okay, minus one, okay. So in this example, right, let me, um, change my window size. Let's see if I can move it over a little bit. In this example, here's all, everything I need to know. Um, so I had one plus my interest rate was zero six. My number of times I was compounding was 12. Okay. And I'm raising this to the power of uh, N, which is 12 times t, t was just one year in this example, and then I'm minusing one. Okay, so I'm basically using Excel as a calculator right now to calculate my APY using this formula, right? And I get the exact same thing as if I were calculating my um, rate of return. So we can see the formula works um, in this example.